Hi, everybody. So, what was I saying? I don't even know. I asked my Instagram followers to give me story time suggestions just for like a sit down video because I'm trying to get back on schedule and I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm like actually proud of myself. After this video, I'll be two videos ahead of what I'm supposed to be. So, pat on the back for me. Everybody clap. I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting like, oh, like tell people's deepest secrets or like, I don't know, tell, ask people their fears and talk about them. You know, just like typical like training time stuff. But there were two suggestions because I had just posted the question box and somebody said, tell your most embarrassing moments from like your childhood and like your teen, your teens or whatever. And something just clicked in my brain because I barely even finished reading the sentence and I thought of like 20 scenarios in my life that were like embarrassing. What the hell? Why is there people there? First of all, I want to say something. It threw me for a loop having to read when you were a teen because it hasn't like clicked in my head that I'm 20 years old and I'm not a teenager anymore. Listen, in my family, you're basically a child until you're like 25 and have kids. That's just the way my family and culture treats their family, so... I, luckily, I was not one of those people that was like forced to grow up at 18 and that's why I'm so stupid and clueless. A lot of people disagree with that and I'm sure people are going to criticize my mom's parenting for that, but that's just how my entire family is. I have a 22-year-old cousin who has a SoundCloud career and they baby him, so... Now, my most embarrassing moments, the one I thought of off the top of my head was when I was a child, so I probably did this specific thing I'm going to tell you from the time I could walk up until I was probably like six. I'd have to double check with my mom because she she remembers this. And there's, anyway, there's pictures of me doing this, by the way. When I was little, I really liked those Cheetos, the white Cheetos that come in like an orange and like cream colored bag. They're like the white Cheeto puffs. Do you know what I mean? They're supposed to be better for you because there's not like insane amounts of red 40 in them. I was really obsessed with those. But in my brain, they they had the same texture as, like, dog food. So, when I would go to my mom for my afternoon snack and I was like, I want ice column cheesies. I was like, I want cheesies. This is what I would make her do. I would make her put them in a bowl, right? They had to be in a bowl. And I would make her put it on... I would make her put it on the floor and feed me like I was a dog. And... I would get on all fours and I would eat my Cheetos like a dog, like a dog would. If I could show you the pictures without having to show my face and just give up my whole identity of me, like, it would be so obvious to if my family ever sees us who it was, I would show you. Maybe one day, but I swear to you this happened. I... <laughs> I tell this story to everybody. Listen, I know I was a weird child, but come on. Most of my- I don't know if that counts as embarrassing because I was a child, but thinking back on it now, I wish kids had a sense of embarrassment because I feel like that would have humbled me and I'd be more normal than I am now. Like, there was no reason for me to do that. Like, why did nobody think I was like a furry or something? And I was- I never had a furry phase or anything. I was just weird. I just wanted to be a dog when I was little. Another thing I did when I was little. Okay. So I had this little princess table. It was like one of those fold-out tables that had like the plastic on it with the foam. Like there was foam and then like a plastic sheet over it and it had like princess print on it. And the, the chair and the table would fold out. Like it was meant to be like an outside table, but we just kept it in the house. I have this ritual where I would take the two chairs from that princess table and I would clear off the coffee table. I would clear off the coffee table in the living room, take everything off of it, and I would put those two chairs on top of the coffee table. Now, thank God this coffee table was like super old antique wood and was like super strong and well made because if it was a glass coffee table, I'd be dead. But I would put I would put those two chairs on the coffee table, then I would get my Barbie dolls, and I would line up the Barbie dolls in front of the chairs, then I would take all the cushions off of the couch and put them around the table in case I fell off, and then I would sit up there and watch TV. I would get on the coffee table, sit on my chair with my dolls, and I would watch TV. Why nobody stopped me? 
I don't know. Because what child does that? That is the most bizarre thing. There's pictures of that too, just me sitting on a coffee table with a chair and my Barbies lined up just watching. I think it was Courage the Cowardly Dog because of all shows, I wasn't into like My Little Pony or anything like that. Courage the Cowardly Dog was my favorite show. And my mom was always like, oh, it's so creepy. Why do you like it? Like, why don't you just like watch like Disney Channel? No, I liked to be scared. Now, those are, like, two embarrassing... Th they're not embarrassing moments, but, like, embarrassing things I used to do when I was, like, little. This was, like, from the age of, like, toddler to six years old. So, obviously, they're not going to be embarrassing because I was a child, right? Like, nobody cared. They probably just thought I was weird. Turns out I'm just neurodivergent and I was undiagnosed, but we'll get into that. I think one of my most embarrassing moments ever was probably the first time my teacher ever yelled at me and it was entirely my fault okay i was a really good kid in school i didn't really talk a lot or anything i was really quiet i listened like i just i didn't want to get in trouble because it not that my mom was like mean about it it was just i didn't want to deal with it and i was like afraid of being yelled at so i had this sharpie highlighter like the thick ones like the bright yellow thick sharpie highlighter and you can take the cap off and put it in on the back of the marker like you're supposed to but there's these little plastic ridges in it and when you twist the cap while it's inside of that little pocket it makes the most excruciating annoying sound ever right so this was probably i think this was third grade we were doing like a history thing and i hated history i hated it and we were supposed to be highlighting something in our textbooks but i was bored right I had undiagnosed ADHD at the time, so of course I was bored. Like, I, I, I was barely paying attention. I was looking at my highlighter, and I was like, what if I just twist this and just, like, start being annoying? So I started twisting it and making the noise, and my teacher was, like, looking around the room, and I was like, crap, she's gonna know it's me. So I stopped, and I thought she was, like, she didn't care. So fast forward a few minutes. Fast forward a few minutes. I started doing it again because I just wanted to see what she would do because I'd never really gotten in trouble before and I was like kind of curious like what would happen and she looked mad and she was like looking around and she's like whoever's doing that can you please stop and so I stopped and then I waited like another five minutes and I started doing it again and she looks around the room and she's like who is doing that stop so I stopped then we went to lunch so after lunch we had like creative writing or whatever and I was like I'm bored again. So I started twisting the highlighter and making the noise again. And the teacher, she looks over in my direction and she's like, I know it's somebody over there. And if you don't stop, I'm calling your mom. And I was like, I was getting nervous, but like, I don't know. It was like giving me an adrenaline rush. And the girl next to me was like laughing and she thought it was funny. So I wanted to make her laugh because I wanted to be her friend. So I kept doing it. And the teacher got so mad. She started, like, screaming. She was, like, a really, like... A lot of the kids used to mess with her as it was. Like, she was kind of, like... She was really old and cranky. And people messed with her as it was. This was the first time I had ever done it. Because, like, everybody else did it and got away with it. But, of course, I was a good kid, right? And the one time I decided to, like, be annoying, I got in trouble. So she started screaming and she's like, Whoever's doing that, like, I'm, I've had it. You're getting sent to the principal's office. And so the kid across from me, he points in my direction and he's like, it was her doing it. And I was like, bro, <laughs> what a tattletale. It was such a stupid thing. Like, why would I do that? Of course, I'm going to get in trouble if I keep doing it. Like, I mean, I was only like nine anyway, but still like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I was so dumb. Like, why would I, I do that? So the teacher just death stares me and she's like, when you're done with your work, come to my desk and i was like okay um all right end of story i got a mark in my agenda and she didn't send me to the principal's office but she was like what has gotten into you and i was like i don't know man i was just bored and she called my mom and my mom was like that's a stupid thing to get in trouble for and i didn't get in trouble at home because my mom thought it was dumb and i never did it again so i learned my lesson there was another time i got in trouble but this time was first grade, not third grade. It, it was a really stupid reason. 
So my class was doing a science experiment and you have to remember, I was probably only like six, seven at the time, right? Like when I did this, I didn't mean like any harm. Like th this was just how my family talked at home. So I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. My class was doing a science experiment and we were like all sitting around our teacher and it had, it was something to do with popcorn. I don't, I don't remember, but she had a bowl of popcorn and like vinegar and it smelled really bad, right? She was like putting the popcorn in the vinegar and she goes, this is taking too long. So she gets a bigger bowl and just like dumps them both in there. And I just said, I remember saying, what the heck woman? Like, like a kid would. Like, I thought it was going to be funny. I just said, what the heck, woman? Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed, right? And the teacher looks around and she's like, who said that? And, uh, and again, the kid next to me pointed at me. Like, the only times I ever got in trouble was because I got tattled on. The teacher, she's like, bring me your agenda. And I was like, damn. So <laughs> I bring her my agenda and she writes in it, called me woman. Like that was, that was what she wrote. Hey, so it's me doing a voiceover now while I'm editing because I didn't realize like I ran out of disc space. I can't even talk. I didn't realize I ran out of disc space. That's such a hard word for my brain. And I lost like 15 minutes of footage and I didn't realize until I imported the, the footage into my editor and it was only 14 minutes and I was like, wow, I actually didn't talk for that long this time. No, turns out I didn't film the other half of everything I was talking about. So love that for me. I did have like two full stories left about <laughs> embarrassing moments, but I'm just going to shorten them for you. I'm going to tell you the funniest one first, and then I'll leave the more boring one for last. These ones have to do with horses, so. There was a time, this one literally makes me want to throw up because it's so embarrassing. There was a time I was at a horse show with my friends. This was back in my IEA day. This was back in my IEA days. I am sorry, I don't know how to speak. This was back in my IEA days when I was on an IEA team with my friends and blah, blah, blah. We all know how that goes. I was really close with one of the girls and she had won her class and we had this thing where when either of us won, we would walk up behind each other like element of surprise. Like we wouldn't we wouldn't know when the other was gonna do this and we'd smack each other on the butt with a crop, like a whip or a crop or a boot. Usually it was a crop. So I was looking for her because she won and I, I needed to find her to whip her on the butt. Listen, I I don't know what was going through my head at 15 years old, okay? It was just... Uh, I, I, I guess we thought it was funny. So I see her and she's sponging a saddle, cleaning it, cleaning a bridle, doing all that. I'm doing the Lord's work because God knows I was going to do it. So I walk up behind her with my crop. I was so sure that it was her and I smack her on the butt as hard as I can because when she had done it to me earlier in the day when I won my flat she hit me super hard with hers so I'm laughing I'm like ha 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 gotcha she doesn't laugh and that's when I realize this is an older person it is not my 15 year old friend so I'm like oh shit this woman she slowly turns around her face is beet red and she goes, what the f And I, I wanted to die. I, I wanted to drop dead right there. And I'm just, I'm profusely apologizing as she's chewing me out. And then that's when I realize this is a trainer from another barn. I just walked up behind a trainer from another barn that doesn't like my trainer as it is. And I smacked her on the ass with a crop. When I think of that story, I want to vomit. I want to crawl into a hole and die, even though it was literally, oh my god, it was only like five years ago. I don't know. It, it makes me want to scream. I hate thinking about that. I just, I want to cry. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave room for a part two, because trust me, I have so many of these stories. It's unreal. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry if the audio quality is so weird. I'm just, 
I'm trying my best here with what I got, okay? I I'm kind of mad that, like, my footage got cut off short, but it's whatever, so. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your embarrassing moments in the comments so I can laugh at you and make you feel just as embarrassed as I do right now. And we'll have a good time, so. Have a good night. Okay, bye.